Count Disco here, back with another Walking Dead prediction. So if you watched last week's episode, you know that the Walking Dead introduced this new character called Georgie. She's this mysterious woman who shows up in the middle of the war with the Saviors, wanting to trade with Maggie in the hilltop. And all she wanted to trade for was some uh, music records. No spoken word, just music records. And she acted as though she had the key to everyone's survival. Now, a lot of people are predicting that this new character, Georgie, is part of this group called the Commonwealth, which is in the comics and uh, part of an arch that starts after uh, the War of the Saviors is over, years later, because they do a time jump. And they think that she's with this uh, group called the Commonwealth, which is this massive community out west, with their, and their leadership uh, always dresses up in business news. Now, when they introduce Georgie, she's wearing this sort of seersucker jacket. She looks like a businesswoman, right? She's got two bodyguards. They're decked out in camo, the kind of thing, the way that people would look if you... There was a zombie apocalypse. The people surviving, that is. And who's this woman in a seersucker business outfit? How is she surviving? Anyway, like, like I said, a lot of people think that they're setting up this uh, for next season when they introduce the Commonwealth, that massive community out west. Well, I'm thinking, no, that's not right. See, I've read the comic books, too. And before you get to the Commonwealth, you've got this whole other storyline called The Whispers. I won't spoil that one for you, but that is some tripping shit. So I'm thinking that this new character, Georgie, she's not with the Commonwealth. They're not setting that up for next season. She's a new character that they introduced for one reason only, and that is to replace Eugene. So the information that uh, Georgie ended up trading Maggie for was all this sort of... Uh, blueprints and diagrams of how to make windmills and aqueducts, how to make like a, a buggy for a horses. It was basically about how people back, way back in the day, made stuff, right? And that's supposed to play into their survival is, hey, we can't rely on electricity. Pretty soon, soon the fuel is going to either be gone or useless. So we got to go back to way back when, right? And that's what all that information is. Now, why I said that this uh, Georgie character is replacing Eugene, is that in the comic books, uh, after the war with the Saviors, they do a time jump, and then you see the Alexandria community, they've got windmills, they've got like aqueducts, they're pu pulling everything with uh, horses and carts, because they got no more fuel. You know, they went back to way back when. And who came up with all this stuff? Eugene. That was all his idea. He made the windmill, he came up with the idea with the aqueducts, probably made, helped them make the uh, horses and buggies, well not the horses, but the buggies, right? So why is it that they got this new character giving them that information so they, next season you can see them ha after they've done a time jump, windmills and aqueducts and all that, they've gone back to way back when. Because Eugene isn't going to be around. I'm thinking that the, because he had this character giving them information that Eugene is supposed to be giving them because he gave them in the comic books, that means Eugene isn't going to be around. He's going to be killed off. Either he's going to try to redeem himself and the Savior's going to uh, put him down. Or, being that he's just a big-ass traitor, I think Rick group, Rick's group is going to kill him. And I think the person who's going to kill him is going to be Rosita. Because that would be fucking wild. Because, you know, him and her are the last two people in their from their group. Everyone else has died out. You know, they at one point it was just them and Abraham. Abraham gets killed off. And then it's just the two of them. Also, Rosita's the reason that Eugene went to the Saviors. Because she had him make, it, make her a bullet so she could try to shoot Negan. It didn't work. And then Negan saw the empty bullet casing and said, hey, who made this? Eugene said, oh, I made it. Uh, that's when Negan realized, hey, this is a smart guy. I'm going to take him, take him with me. And then, of course, Eugene ends up being a Savior on account of this. Now, Rosita did try to save him. But I don't think she gives a shit anymore. She realizes he's a traitor, so Rosita is going to kill Eugene. Now, as far as Georgia, Georgie, like I said, that's the only reason they introduced her, is to get that information, because Eugene isn't going to be around. I bet she might just keep killed off in the next episode, or we'll never see her again. And that's, that is my prediction. <laughs>